Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Sergei Ganisyan. In late 2015, Ukraine joined Creative Europe, an EU project aimed at supporting cultural cooperation in the region. Joining me now to discuss that is Irina Vakorchak, head of Creative Europe desk in Ukraine. Uh, Ms. Vakorchak, thank you very much for coming here. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for invitation here. So, uh, starting with the project itself, Creative Europe, I take it it's a uh, mostly a financial grant to uh, young and promising artists, who starting artists, uh, who can apply for this grant and prove they are worthy of this grant. So, can you tell us in details what does it mean for Ukraine? What does it mean for these uh, young artists? Uh, what you say is correct, except for that uh, not the artists, not like physical bodies, can apply for the grants, but uh, organizations which exist uh, at least for two years and are active in the cultural uh, sphere or in uh, uh, a creative industry spheres. Um, creative Europe uh, program uh, is a is a framework uh, program uh, for supporting cultural initiatives and cultural exchange between uh, the countries of European Union, the Eastern Partnership countries, some of them, and also other countries which are part of the uh, European um, neighborhood policy. Uh, totally there are 39 countries participating uh, in this program. Um, it is uh, planned uh, for seven years, from 2014 till 2020, and uh, the budget for the whole program for seven years for all the grants and sub-programs uh, is one point 46 uh, billion euros. But what, what exactly uh, should uh, these organizations do to achieve this grant money? Uh, first of all, they have to uh, eligible to apply. There are two main um, sub-programs in Creative Europe. They are culture and media. And there are also some uh, special separate um, uh, sub-programs like um, grants for literary translations, uh, translations of literary work of European uh, meaning, European worth. Uh, the culture program has uh, also several uh, programs to which the cultural initiatives, cultural operators can apply. Uh, they are uh, small-scale grants, uh, up to 200,000 euros for a project. Uh, uh, for this program, uh, uh, four, uh, at least four partners are required, and one of them uh, it would be a leading a partner who fills in the application. And uh, large-scale um, a program uh, is uh, uh, to finance projects in the uh, up to two million euros for a project, but it requires at least six partners from uh, six uh, countries. Uh, there are also other programs, for example, European uh, networks or European platforms, uh, to which also Ukrainian uh, 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 culture associations, professional networks, uh, any other cultural initiatives can apply. Uh, you know, I'm sorry if it sounds a bit provocative, but uh, 1.46 billion euro spread among uh, 39 countries over the course of seven years uh, and uh, we know the situation in Ukraine, uh, the artists could use this money, right? Because uh, we have war, we have things and you've been a poet, a poet as, uh, in Ukraine, you know how difficult it is to become a, an artist. So, but that's, that's money, this sounds, seems like a drop in the sea. Will it really make a difference? We are actually very lucky as a country participating in the Creative Europe program because uh, um, the participation fee for each country is very, very large. It's hundreds of thousands or even millions of euros to participate in this program, to put it like in the, uh, in the general um, uh, access. Uh, but uh, we are lucky in the sense that we only paid a symbolic fee of uh, one euro as a country. Uh, we have to compete with other projects uh, and compete with other countries on the same, uh, under the same conditions. There, there is no like a, a special uh, niche for Ukrainian organization or a special uh, plant, uh, you know, uh, percentage that Ukrainian organizations should, um, should receive uh, as, uh, as an applicants. We are all competing on the same basis, but um, I say compete, but in fact it is not competing, it's uh, developing and fostering cooperation between all the organization uh, and uh, the main the main goal of the creative europe is to foster this transnational cooperation um, uh, cross border mobility of artists of uh, artistic works of you know performances of uh, uh, culture experts and culture managers so this is the main goal to develop this cooperation 
Uh, I see. And uh, I take it establishing the, the Ukrainian desk was the first step, or, or maybe not the first, but certainly not the last in mm -hmm. cooperating in uh, entering uh, into this program for Ukraine. So what are the next steps? And I'm also curious, I read opinions that Ukraine actually could enter this project back in 2014. Is it true? And if it's true, then why is it taking so long for us to enter? The, well, the, the first step was taken uh, in November uh, last year when the, uh, when the agreement was, uh, uh, was signed between the Ukrainian Ministry of Culture and Ukrainian government and the European Commission uh, for the participation. Uh, the uh, creating of a um, Creative Europe desk in Ukraine is just like uh, one of the steps for organizing the whole functioning of the program in our country. Uh, our, our functions as a desk uh, is to inform and consult and uh, help uh, any interested uh, applicants, uh, prospective applicants, to find their European partners, to, um, to write their application and to get all the necessary uh, contacts and consultation they would ask for. Oh, thank you. And also I uh, read about, uh, for example, this quota between certain countries, for example, Italy and other in Germany who participated in this project before, they received more uh, financial, more grants than, for example, say Poland, who entered this, uh, this, uh, this uh, event not so long ago. So are you afraid that uh, it's going to be the same case for Ukraine, that we will not see grants in the sev next several years? Well, uh, I hear the skeptical attitude from uh, European experts and to some extent I have to uh, agree because um, first it's not the uh, applying for Creative Europe is not about just you know filling in the application. It's about the growth of uh, organization, uh, having a strategy and following the strategy, uh, developing international networks, um, creating quality content, quality cultural products, quality uh, quality projects uh, in cooperation and developing also these projects in cooperation with European partners. Uh, judging by the number of the grants received by each country, we can. We can also, uh, you know, see the uh, see the the quality and the level of their um, readiness, uh, how much they are prepared uh, to uh, use this European money. There will be a lot of challenges for our Ukrainian uh, cultural operators and cultural organizations before we start uh, receiving uh, grants. And uh, my recommendation for all Ukrainian uh, initiatives would be first uh, not to create a project and be a leading partner, but to join to the existing, um, existing projects and learn from them and uh, get new friends and and uh, colleagues and partners among other European uh, initiatives. And I also heard uh, maybe uh, probably two opposite opinions about the situation in Ukraine and its impact on the uh, cultural uh, situation uh, in the country. First of all, we have war and some say that it's probably not a good time to invest and to maybe focus even on the cultural uh, um, events. And uh, others say that well, uh, there, it's the best time because we have this uh, rise of patriotism and we have this rise of, uh, of desire to demonstrate our country to other, uh, to Europe, to maybe the world. So do you think it's the best time to, for so something like this uh, for Ukraine? Uh, it has been proven by many, many experts and um, scientists and researchers that uh, culture is a very important uh, element of a sustainable uh, development. It's also a very important element for, uh, for uh, safety matters for the whole country. Um, and, uh, but, but if we, if we speak about Ukraine in the context of European integration, uh, participating in this program is crucial because, for example, for me, since I work with the program, the map of Europe is not the map of the European Union, but it's the map of the countries participating in the Creative Europe program. So in the, in the cultural level, uh, uh, this is metaphorically, of course, but we are already in, the, in Europe. Uh, and if we work here well, the other aspects of international relations, politics, economics, they will just, you know, uh, come later and be on the same level. Well, I can only wish you good luck. It seems like a really thank noble you. goal. Uh, Ms. Vukorchak, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for your answers. They are much appreciated. Thank you so much for inviting me. So this is where we have to leave. You've been watching Ukraine Today. Many thanks for joining us and I'll see you next time.